So I just went to Harrods, of course, you know, I didn't have the best feeling. <laughs> the thought of leaving my bag in Harrods <laughs> with Chanel, I have to tell you, made me feel a little bit sick. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today we are trying to do the impossible. <laughs> I'm gonna get ready in a second and then we're actually going to try and return return my Chanel 22 bag because you guys know I love that bag so much and I really try to make it work and they told me to just wear it and you know don't worry about it if it actually cracks then you can still come and bring it in. It did crack. <laughs> so um, I have all the close-ups. I give you all the new tea and, you know, we're going to try our best to actually, you know, exchange it, return it, refund it. That would be my dream. I don't know what's going to happen today. I take you on that journey with me. First of all, guys, I want to tell you that today's video is kindly sponsored by Lily Silk. And guys, it is hot. That's why I look like I do as well. It's really difficult to... <laughs> even keep these curls in my hair because it's so hot and humid at the moment in London we had like 40 degrees Celsius yesterday it was it was literally hell <laughs> so um I really got used to sleeping in these I mean you guys know I'm a big fan of Lily Silk and they make these amazing pajamas I'm gonna link everything in the description box below and it is light it is breathable it is you know it just feels really really good and I mean it looks quite good as well right with my little shoes <laughs> they only use the best mulberry silk and not all silk is created equal obviously and lily silk has the best quality silk products so i got some other stuff from lily silk as well that i want to show you you guys know this is like one of my favorite pieces in my wardrobe i've been wearing it so many times in so many blogs especially like with my you know just to complete the look of course <laughs> um i love lily silk's blazers so i thought you know what i'm gonna get another blazer and i got some matching trousers as well and i can't wait to try it on lily silk's 12th anniversary sale is coming up from the 1st until the 31st of august with amazing giveaway prizes Prizes, limited surprising free gifts buy more save more options and a flash sale for example if you spend more than five hundred dollars you get an 18 karat gold plated lily silk scarf ring bundle that's worth 150 dollars also if you buy any two pillowcases you get a free sleep eye mask lily silk are environmentally conscious and committed to zero waste production et voila here we are so i what can i tell you guys i think you know by <laughs> by Ma. <laughs> so I absolutely love their blazers. The cuts are absolutely incredible. It always, this is size S for anybody who's wondering. And again, like I mix it up with these white legged pants and it is such a soft light material. Again, it's perfect if you know you need to go to the office during summertime. It's hot, it's humid. You still want to wear like long trousers. However, you know, this is the perfect material. It is really, it is flowing. It is beautiful. It actually feels like you're barely wearing anything at all. Um, so I can only recommend Lily Silk. Let me go get my Chanel 22, pack my bag, the dust bag, everything it came with, the receipt, my passport, because I put it in France, which might make it all more difficult <laughs> to return or exchange this bag. We see what's going to happen. And let me show you the footage now of the damage on my bag. And also, guys, Lily Silk. By the way, um, I have discount codes for you. I actually have um, one discount code for 12% off everything site-wide. Um, if you use RM12, you get everything 12% off. But I also, guys, I have a 25% discount code if you use RM25. It only works for women's apparel um, and women's clothing, I think, in general. But, um, you know, if you choose one piece and one piece alone, you can get 25% off. So that's pretty amazing. Also, guys, just a quick little, like, fashion tip for summer. Um, you can just wear, like, a really nice lace top with those pants. And obviously, you know, if it's too hot, you just don't wear the blazer. But you can take it if you go to an event in the evening. It's getting a little colder later on. You could just, like, hang the beautiful blazer over your shoulders. I feel like that always looks really sophisticated i'm going to show you the footage of the damage on the back now but i just want to tell you guys honestly this color is so for me i'm heartbroken um that i have to let it go um so the pink samorga organizer actually bought for the back um and yeah i mean what can you do right so just saying like 
even this casual bag with like an office outfit, you know, looks great. <laughs> Don't want to let her go. Oh, God. Yeah, so it would have been the dream if these bags were durable. I, you know, I would love and treasure this bag for years to come. Oh, it's hot, guys. Hello, friends. So... Yeah, here we are again. I am literally a little bit heartbroken right now. If you've seen part one and part two of this whole Chanel 22 saga, you know, you know what we're talking about. If you haven't watched those videos yet, please go and check them out and then come back to this video so that you're up to date. I was told at Chanel to just wear my bag, enjoy it. Don't worry if something happens, then I can still come in and, you know, I don't know what they will do. We will see. This is what this video will be about. So I was wearing my beautiful bag a couple more times. This is the Chanel 22 in the medium size purple metallic from 22A Metidia. Ah, I love this bag so much. I was wearing it. I mean, so far there is not more cracking that has appeared. Um, and like I told you guys, I would have been able to live with the little cracks um, on the stitching. However, now that I've worn it a couple times, Obviously, when you wear the bag, you cinch um, the top in a little bit, right? Because the drawstrings pull up. I'm not going to do that anymore because it's just going to get worse if I do this. So I've worn it a couple more times. And then last night, what I saw is I was like, oh, God, is that true? I need to see it in the daylight. Okay, let me see. Can we see that? I mean, we know that these bags peel. There we go. Can we see that? Let me try. Ooh, the sun is good at the moment. Let me try and zoom in. There. Can we see that? It's starting to peel. Um, not only here. And guys, this is basically, you know, when it's cinched in and you wear the bag, you can see here. It gets pressed together and... At the end, where the bag rubs against your body when you wear it, because this is the back side, right? That's what happens. And you can clearly see the leather is pink underneath. Like once the purple metallic coating comes off, um, the leather is pink underneath. There is more examples. I just need to find it now. Here we can see it as well. Can you see it's proper cracks? Let me try and focus. It's proper cracks. There we can see it. And, uh, you know, I I cannot believe it. It's really breaking my heart a little bit. I think this is the best example. And, I mean, this leather is wrink wrinkly leather, obviously. But, you know, it's going to happen everywhere then. I'm, I'm not ready for that. In addition, you know how well I take care of my bag. I never put it on the floor, nothing. <laughs> Um, I baby my bags and all of these four corners are now showing the same um, damage. It's really difficult with one hand, but let me show you this corner. I think here you can see it the best. So let me hold this. There, we can see the bag is definitely pink underneath. So the metallic coating is coming off on all four corners. Um, I don't know how that is possible because um, I literally, you know, never put the bag down on a rough surface or anything. But it is beginning to peel everywhere. Oh, there, the sun is coming out. There, we can see it properly. Let me show you this side again. <sighs> so I will now have to go back to Chanel and tell them, you know, you told me to wear the bag and if it gets worse, I should come back. Here I am. <sighs> I, I really don't know what to do, guys. If I have to let this bag go, there will be a hole in my collection. I don't know why. I can't explain it. I just love this bag. I think these cracks are really concerning. Right? I mean, <laughs> it's not supposed to happen to a bag after wearing it for one month. And so many people are saying, yeah, but rich people, they just go and buy another bag. They don't care. No, anybody should care, no matter how your financial situation is, because we spend a lot of money on this and you buy quality and it cannot fall apart after months, you know. So, yeah, I think the cracking has not gotten worse. Let me actually check. 
yeah, the cracking has not really gotten worse. There we can see it again. <sighs> Maybe a little bit. Can you see it's quite cold? Um, there is no peeling where the bag is peeling for all of you guys. Like I checked all of these. There's nothing happening. It's literally just the back of the bag where it's wrinkling, you know, where you wear it against your body. The coating is rubbing off. <sighs> yeah, what to do? We will go to the Chanel shop and see what they say. Okay, guys, I got everything. However, like what's happening? The humidity, like my hair looks so bad. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Okay, I got everything. Let's go. So we are in South Kensington right now. I needed something for the shock. <laughs> and we're walking down to the Chanel on Water Street now. That was always my favorite Chanel boutique. However, um, my SA, Denise, he was the best. He doesn't work there anymore, unfortunately. Um, but I have another really nice woman that I met and I hope she's there and I hope she can help. Um, it's kind of the last walk now, that's what it feels like. And guys, I mean, you have seen the footage, let me know. I think it's shocking. And believe it or not, I think it's gonna get way worse. We know that this is crinkled, wrinkled leather. Wherever the wrinkles are, this will happen. And they all will crack. And so... <sighs> Yeah, I don't like to do this. Honestly, I think there will be a gap in my heart <laughs> and in my handbag collection. I mean, you guys understand it. Nobody else would. Um, yeah, it's just the bag, obviously. But <sighs> let's see what happens. Plus, guys, I think actually today Chanel 22B is launching as well. So maybe we see some eye candy. Okay, guys, can I just say how much I love this blazer? I'm just in the restrooms um, at Harrods <laughs> and I'm gonna tell you now what happened. Okay guys, so I have just been to the fifth floor in Harrods. They have their own repair service here in the UK. So in Water Street, they did tell me that unfortunately they would have to assess the bag and send it off to Paris, which would take three months. However, Harrods has their own like assessing team and if I would bring it here, it might be faster. So I just went to Harrods, of course, you know, no, I didn't have the best feeling. The thought of leaving my bag in Harrods <laughs> with Chanel, I have to tell you, made me feel a little bit sick. However, so what happened now? It was the loveliest team. It's a very small team. It's only, I think, four women. They take care of all the repairs that they get in and it's only taking them around like three weeks to get back to you. And now we have to wait until an expert either confirms that the item is faulty and then I guess I would get a credit note or a refund, which would be amazing. If they, however, say, sorry, um, we think that that is normal wear and tear, then there's nothing they can do. And I'm like, I told her as well, I'm like, this is not, not normal wear and tear after basically having this bag for just over a month and I've worn it literally a handful of times. And she was like, yeah, you know, but of course she can't make the decision. So yeah, my bag is, I feel like in good hands, even though it's Harrods and Chanel, I think they are a completely different department. They were really lovely. They said they love my ring and I just had like a talk with them, a little chat with them and they were nice. They were very lovely. So now guys, we are just going to wait and we are going to see what is happening with my bag. So currently I don't have a bag with me. They gave me hoop wrong. I get lost in Harrods too. Um, they gave me just a shopping bag to put all my belongings in there basically. And guys, I think this is actually what fashionably Amy currently is going through as well. Um, I think she had to leave her bag with Chanel as well to assess the bag. And yeah, I'm really, you know, I can't wait to hear what's happening to her bag. And well, I can't wait to hear what's happening to mine. Are we ready for a little bit of Chanel 22B? Um, look at this beautiful camellia. I just left my bag and I feel, well, empty. Because <laughs> I'm without my bag now and I left it with Harrods, which is not a not the best feeling either. <laughs> but that team up there, the Chanel repair team, they were lovely, they were very nice. Um, they are completely separate from all the other Chanel boutiques. And um, yeah, so I don't know what's gonna happen. I will keep you updated. Look at this again, guys. I've criticized that in one of my last vlogs already. How can Balmain copy <laughs> Chanel's shoulder strap, like one-to-one, -one, like 
Is that not madness? As you can see, they come out with many different models. This one is like black velvet. However, it is so Chanel. While we're here, why not try some sunglasses on? Mm. I had these ones. They are from Chloe. Um, and I sold them because I felt like I was over them and I missed them ever since. I think they look really good, right? Yeah, what can I tell you? I love huge sunglasses. <laughs> and just before we go home, let's have a quick look at some more 22B pieces. I love the colors. I mean, I usually like everything they bring out for autumn and winter. Have we seen this one before? Is this 22A or 22B? Beautiful coat. Look at the tweed fabric. Um, yeah. I like it a lot. Oh wow, even the buttons. Look at the details on the buttons. Let me try and zoom in. Okay, my camera doesn't want to film anymore. So that was it for today. I, well, I can only wait now. I hate waiting. I'm very impatient. <laughs> so the next couple of weeks are going to be tough for me, not knowing what's going to happen to my bag. Uh, yeah. So um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video nonetheless. Um, let me tell you to go check out Lily Silk's website again. Um, they soon have a collaboration coming up with Mika Ninagawa. <laughs> I hope I pronounced that right. And the pieces look absolutely incredible. You guys know I'm a sucker for everything with flowers on it. <laughs> I love everything flowery, every flowery pattern, etc. So definitely go and check it out. And yeah, guys, if you enjoyed today's video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, join our little handbag of Zest family here because we all do have the same luxury disease. Yes, we do. And I see you again very, very soon. Bye.